Welcome back everybody to another episode of Direct Comparison. In today's episode, we're looking at the recently released Dirt Rally 2.0 and seeing how it compares to its 2015 predecessor, Dirt Rally. Now before we begin, bear in mind that both games are being run on the PC, with their settings pushed as high as they can go at a 1440p resolution. I tried my best to match up the locations, time of day, and weather to help create the closest possible comparisons. However, very few tracks and cars are shared between both games, and the Dirt Rally games don't offer any form of photo mode or free cam, so we will be a bit limited this time around. Alright, so starting off, let's look at the car models and texture quality. Unfortunately, there's no way to get the lighting and the liveries and the cars themselves to match exactly, so you will notice a slight difference in the coloration. But remember that the focus here is on the resolution and overall complexity of the models themselves. From the exterior, the car models look practically identical, and I really can't find any significant changes, aside from a few cosmetic body kit alterations. However, the interior is where we begin to see some major differences to the quality of textures. The steering wheel had more depth before, with clearly defined screws and wear around the edge. The driver's gloves now appear blurry and less detailed, and the window netting that is supposed to be made of nylon stitching now almost looks like it's made of rubber. It seems that Rally 2.0's texture quality isn't up to par with the quality of the textures in its predecessor. My guess is that this is because Dirt Rally features virtual reality support, and so these effects were given a higher priority. Rally 2.0 is set to receive an update in the future to allow virtual reality, so it will be interesting to see if the quality of the textures improves along with it. Next, let's look at some environmental textures, starting with the grass. The quality of the textures used for grass looks roughly the same between both games, only with some very minor changes to the design that are barely noticeable. But the notable improvement here is the large increase to the amount of 2D grass sprites in the world, which helps to create a more convincing depth to the presentation. The roads on the other hand do appear slightly worse in Rally 2.0, especially the dirt roads. It's not as noticeable when you're flying down the track at 100 miles per hour, but it's a curious reduction in quality nonetheless. Other environmental textures like barriers and traffic cones look roughly the same, though with a little bit more wear and tear. The biggest change to Dirt Rally 2.0 comes in the form of its enhanced lighting effects. The original game's lighting feels lifeless and static in comparison to the lighting used in 2.0. Rally 2.0 feels much brighter overall, with superior global illumination and a more liberal use of bloom effects. These bloom effects look nice, but there were instances where I felt the brightness was a bit much, almost blinding in some instances, and not in a realistic sense. Reflective surfaces, on the other hand, are now much more impressive thanks to the added screen space reflections, which not only help to enhance the look of cars as they slide around tight churns, but also greatly improves the feel of races in wet and rainy conditions. This course here, for example, is the same between both games, and is set to rain at midday, yet they appear almost entirely different thanks to the added puddles and reflective surfaces. Shadow quality hasn't really changed at all moving into the sequel, with headlights properly casting shadows in nighttime scenes and cars projecting soft edge shadows based on the current weather with decent accuracy. But Rally 2 still fails to properly represent dynamic environmental shadows, like moving tree branches. Despite these trees blowing in the wind, all the shadow projections are completely static. Now, let's talk about special effects. One of the best improvements to Dirt Rally 2.0 is the enhanced dirt and smoke clouds that realistically cast shadows and fill the air as you drift around corners. The original Dirt Rally featured similar effects, but they've been expanded upon a great deal and build up into much larger clouds than before. Vehicles will also leave more clear dirt tracks that last much longer, whereas the remnant tracks in the original game were difficult to make out in the same locations. The physics have been greatly enhanced, with more realistic handling and a weightier feel to the game's many rally cars. This alone is likely one of the most substantial changes to Dirt Rally 2, and one that many fans of this genre will appreciate above all else. Damage handles about the same way as before, with highly realistic damage models that can also greatly impact your vehicle's handling, but it's difficult to really compare considering the game pulls you out of the race with a big enough crash. As I noted earlier, weather effects have improved a great deal, with roads that actually appear wet and reflective. But I was disappointed with the lack of water droplets on the vehicle itself. You'll see the same windshield wiper effect in both games, which is nice, but droplets no longer coat the body of the vehicle the way they did before. And finally, let's listen to a few sound comparisons. Which game do you think has the better overall sound design? Oh, <laughs> 
turn right three half long, don't cut. 60 crest. Caution, turn right one. Into keep right over crest. Four right long tightens. Into six left of a crest. Extra long. Opens. 80. Dirt Rally 2.0 doesn't do much to improve on its visual design. The various car models and tracks have been modified slightly, but it's hardly noticeable considering the nature of the gameplay. However, the redesigned lighting and vastly improved reflective surfaces help give the experience a refreshing new look. And the changes made to the actual car physics and handling are likely the changes that fans of this genre will be most interested in. I still have a lot more I want to play before I give a full review of this game, but in the meantime, what do you guys think of the changes to the visuals? Does Dirt Rally 2.0 look better? Let me know in the comments section, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos posted every week.